I've got absolutely loads of vegetables in my house and I'm not sure why, I don't know where they came from or anything, so uh, I'm going to have to do something with them. So what I'm going to do now is just cook them up into some sort of curry-like concoction and then probably eat it. As you can see, over the course of the last few weeks I've collected loads of stuff. This is um, plantain, this is courgette, or zucchini, whatever, this is okra, and this is aubergine eggplant. Uh, I've put loads of salt on this because I, I ate a few of them but they were really bitter. So I've decided to go the old fashioned put loads of salt on them and, and get rid of the salt and drain them of the bitter juices because they taste rank to be honest. But they'd be nice, I'm sure, if I've sorted out the bitterness. So that's going to be quite good. I did have other vegetables. got a choo-choo which is going a little bit bad, a turnip, some corella. I was saving all these just in case I needed to do reshoots. I don't actually know what to do with the corella. Uh, it's apparently really really bitter and I don't want to risk it but I don't know it might still be more or less usable. And of course cucumber. Lovely cucumber. Which I'm not going to put any of those in this curry because I don't want to spoil it. I'm just going to work with what I've got. It's going to be an international curry international curry is a good thing. To be honest it's probably not going to so much be curry as a thing that I've made that I've got things for in the fridge. I'm just going to randomly stick what I feel like putting into this and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in. And I have rinsed off the uh, whatever you want to call it, if you want to call it the eggplant. Let's call it the eggplant. It's Aubergine, whatever, and just put that in. I'm actually going to bung it all in, may as well. So there's a bit of plantain. Don't know what this is going to be like, probably doesn't really go together, but it's vegetables, how wrong can it go? So I've slightly browned those, I've got decisions to make. What decisions shall I make? Right, this is going to be random. Um, obviously turmeric. You couldn't not have turmeric. Turmeric's like the uh, universal spice. Yeah, turmeric. And uh, paprika. That would be nice. Paprika. Just a bit of... It's not coming through that way. Try it the other way. Oops, police car going pie. Not pie. Bye. Not going pie. I'm just... Oh, I'm hungry, obviously. A bit of ginger, maybe. Ginger, yeah. That would be nice. Chilli powder. Oh, yeah, chilli powder. A bit of chilli powder. Just um, garam masala. Why not? Garam masala. It's not coming out. Ah, there's none in there. Right, well, the garam masala's not going in there. But we'll put some coriander in there. That would be nice. Yeah, coriander. Cumin, cumin, whatever, cumin, yeah, and yeah, what else, uh, ground mixed spice, yeah, that's nice, that smells nice, yeah, that's got uh, cinnamon, coriander, caraway, ginger, fennel, nutmeg, cloves, and more turmeric, so, you know, I'm going to have lots of turmeric, lots of ginger, it's going to be lovely, it smells gorgeous already, not going to put the tamarind in, because that's a little bit, so i better mix it all up. So it's all covered, it's still quite dry, browning, what look, oh, really but dark burnt bits, wow, that's great, isn't it, yes, it's nice, that's lovely, and um, yeah, put some water in it maybe, put some water, in the kettle, there, right, maybe stock cube, that's what I'll add, stock cube, yeah. It's a vegetable stock cube, although if you want you can add chicken or beef or whatever you want. It's up to you, seeing as I've really not got a recipe for this, it doesn't really matter at all. I'm not going to put marmite in it, that might be a step too far. Ooh, tomato paste, yes, tomato paste. There, that would be great. Tomato paste, yeah. Mix it all up. Maybe a bit more chilli powder. Yeah, put some more chilli powder in there. Great. Yeah. 
Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll probably leave that to simmer till it's done and then maybe eat it. It will be lovely. So somebody was asking me what you do with these vegetables, how you cook them, how you prepare them. And really, I think just do what you want. Just cut them up and stick them in whatever you feel like sticking them in. They're not going to poison you, so I don't think they're going to poison you. Unless you're allergic to them. Obviously, if you're allergic to any of the ingredients, don't stick them in anything. If you don't know you're allergic to them, well, you'll find out soon enough. So it doesn't really make much difference, does it? So, as you can see, it's reduced a little bit, it's made a nice sauce, it's great, it's probably nearly ready to eat. I'm probably going to eat this with some rice noodles, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Rice noodles and vegetable curry. And I just put it on top of the rice noodles, I didn't use the whole thing because I'm not greedy. If you are greedy, then use the whole thing. So I'm just going to try this now, see what it's like. Hopefully it'll be nice. Who knows? It's a bit of okra. So far it's quite nice. A bit of plantain. Mm -hmm. It's not tragic, it's quite nice, it's tasty. This method of cooking has usually worked for me. You just stick stuff in, it's fine. Mmm. It's actually really nice. There's some courgette, zucchini, a bit of rice noodle, some more okra. So I think actually the secret to cookery, any cookery, is just bung stuff in and hope for the best. And if it goes wrong, then throw it away. But, you know, vegetables and stuff. How wrong can it go? You know, if it's not quite right, add some more water, add some more spices, add some more salt. If it's too much salt, add loads more water and some more spices. Make twice as much to compensate for the salt. It's easy. It's cool. And this is really nice. 